Hello Virgo and welcome to your July 2021 tarot and astrology reading. If you are new here, my name is Tanya Michelle and we are not all love, lights, twin flames, and unicorns over here on this channel. So please keep that in mind. And let's get into your reading Virgo. July is a on and popping kind of month. Um, and I see really amazing things here though for you guys Virgo. We have, I mean, I feel like you guys have really been working towards what you want, like a future goal, a future vision for yourself. For some of you, it could be moving or moving away or for others of you it could be a romance or a relationship or certain connections for others of you it could be what you want to leave behind you know either what you want to achieve in this life or your legacy and what you want to leave behind and so um yeah you've been really thinking long term here really thinking long haul um and really you know playing the long game here you know what i mean and that's not necessarily i'm not saying that in a bad way it's really fucking awesome you know you guys are really future focused lately and really putting in the work to accomplish and to get to where you want to go you know what i mean and so that's fucking amazing kudos to you you deserve a pat on the fucking back you've been doing the damn thing <laughs> um so basically uh you know there are some things i see here though with your guys's month in july virgo um and yeah let's go ahead and get into it and honestly i wouldn't say this is anything far from a, a typical virgo issue that i think that a lot of virgos tend to have a lot and um that is doing things for others, you know, because Virgo is a very service oriented sign, right? So doing things for others and not asking anything in return. And that's totally cool. That's just who you are. I'm not saying anything bad about that. But the lesson for you guys this month that keeps coming up over and over and over again in your cards is that there seems to be an imbalance of energy somewhere in your life, like that situation or that person or that whatever the case may be is not matching the energy that you're giving. And because you aren't a sign that likes to necessarily be in the spotlight or, you know, uh, you know, you don't want to come off like you are like you need attention or like you need recognition or appreciation but at the end of the day uh in the month of july virgo i feel like a lot that's coming up here is appreciation you know this is a month where you want to feel appreciated you know mars is in your 12th house in leo and this is why i think a lot of you guys especially if you're virgo rising um can have an issue with this like an issue with saying hey like i just don't feel appreciated and that doesn't make you selfish that doesn't make you i mean we're all inherently selfish in some way or another that's just how we are made we have certain instincts that are there for us to survive right that's part of the ego it's not a bad thing but as a virgo rising with leo in your 12th house that's very minimized and hidden um depending on the rest of your chart obviously but um it's not uh, as direct, right? And so what can happen is over time, you can build up resentment, pain, shame, you know, and guilt for wanting appreciation from people, guilt for wanting a thank you, guilt for, you know, and it's not that, it's not necessarily a bad thing to expect that, you know, or to desire that or to need that. Like, if you need that, then why is that a bad thing? How can you help that if you need it? You know what I mean? For to keep feeling like, um, to keep feeling secure and comfortable, right? Doing whatever it is that you're doing. And so this month, I feel like um, you need to learn how to let others help you, um, how to work as a team how to uh, voice your needs and say, hey, this is what I'm feeling or I expect appreciation, right? Like I, I need some appreciation. I need to know that I'm appreciated here, right? Um, and so I feel like these things are really coming out this month, these certain wounds that you have with whether asking for help, appreciation, you know, where you're doing too fucking much, you know what I mean? And where you don't feel like your energy is being matched, which is this temperance card reversed, right? There's a polarity and instead of um, compromising or coming into harmony, it's kind of like a situation that's not being resolved. Um, and maybe you have tried to 
kind of avoid conflict or stay in the background for long enough and this month i really do feel like in that regard it is building up and if you're not careful you could um react unexpectedly because that build up kind of finally pops and then you are kind of, you know, in certain situations where you can't deal with it anymore. You can't carry the load for other people anymore. You can't keep going like this and where you end up backing off and needing to just do you, right? Hermit. Um, so there is a little bit of hermit mode and I think that that's going to be more likely when like towards mid to end of the month when uh the sun moves into leo your 12th house you are going to be feeling a little bit more withdrawn a little bit more focused on you a little bit more focused on you know what you need to thrive what you need to keep going what you need to express within yourself what you need to let go of um and yeah it's going to be more of a time of letting things go towards the end of the month but the beginning of the month um, it does seem like there needs to be some some kind of emotions or ideas or thoughts expressed in terms of working on the whole appreciation thing, um, whether that's at work, in a relationship, in a certain situation. Um, you need to allow other people to help you. Um, and I feel like you are maybe rebuilding. Um, you are rebuilding on... on you, are, you are rebuilding your trauma if that makes sense or you are rebuilding your wounds um i'm not sure how else to really say that that's just like what's coming to me how to say it um like you are rebuilding you are it's like you know something fell apart and you are like putting it back together again but you have to learn how to instead of reacting in the same way that you used to because of this wound or because of these traumas you have to react in a different way now if that makes sense you have to learn how to rebuild redo and allow other people to be there for you and help you so um other than that so we have the ace of cups here and the lovers and the ten of pentacles like i said virgo you are really focused on going places you are really focused on your heart's desire, which for a lot of you, it looks like a connection, a relationship, and your future goals. You know what I mean? What you want to build, 10 of Pentacles, where you want to end up, the long-term goal, the long-term vision. You know what I mean? Um, family, relationship, um, goals, you know what I mean? Uh, is really kind of the name of the game this month. So I do feel like... Um, a lot of you guys either recently or in the month of July have went through some shaky times. Um, like things have gotten shaken up a little bit because you've been really having to look at where it is that your lack of asserting yourself can over time cause explosive habits and also um, where your uh, where your need to kind of be of service to others or, uh, you know, constantly do the dirty work that no one else wants to do, basically, uh, can also cause uh, shakeups and situations in your life. And so you're kind of in this like duality right now, temperance, reverse, you know what I mean? That's not budging between self and other and also between the more hidden and subconscious aspects of the self versus service to others, your job, the things that you do on a day-to-day -day basis, your health, you know, where you kind of fit into the whole um, on a day-to-day -day basis. And, and then that is all kind of in a challenging aspect with your belief systems, your outlook, uh, your views, you know what I mean? Um, your morals, your ethics, you know, the things that you really hold like the things that really mean something to you, the values that you have. So all of this is kind of building and in a challenging aspect in your life, especially um, the beginning and kind of throughout July, um, because we have this Mars, Saturn, Uranus, T-square. And I talked very in depth about that in um, my other videos, uh, my July 2021 video, my Mars and Leo video. So definitely go and check those out. Um, from the end of June. So, but basically I see here, um, 
you're learning a lot about duality. You're learning a lot about polarity, balance, um, you know, yin and yang, right? Like you are learning a lot about how to kind of integrate two different sides of yourself or two different energies or two different situations in your life or even more. You know what I mean? There's this need to kind of break free when it comes to or, or radically shift when it comes to um, your kind of vision, your purpose, your, um, you know, it's kind of like an upgrade, so to say, on your education, your outlook, your views, your ethics, your morals, your belief systems, you know, and somewhere, somewhere in this kind of category or in these fields, you're really wanting to um, go through some kind of like radical upgrade shift um, break free of something that's maybe been holding you back for a long time. And I really see here, Virgo, that, um, there basically may be some shakeups in regard, in regards to connections in your life this month. Um, and where you want to kind of because we also have door to romance and contract, which is, you know, I'm kind of seeing again as like balance, you know what I mean? And understanding cause and effect and understanding um, opposites once again, you know, um, and also understanding responsibility with that because that's what a contract is, right? It's like um, a, a, a kind of responsibility or a um, agreement <clears throat> within a certain connection and right next to that is door to romance so um I, I really feel like you know you are kind of trying to find the balance possibly for some of you in a romantic situation or it could be in a friendship um a work situation etc and we also have appreciation here once again you know what i mean um it really goes back to are you feeling unappreciated right? Are you feeling unappreciated? Are you willing to speak up for yourself? Um, are you willing to face certain things within yourself that are maybe subconsciously driving you, right? That are maybe subconsciously driving you. I really feel like Virgo, a lot of you guys are really uh, moving on up in job, work, career, uh, massive responsibility increase. Sorry, there's too many cards. Uh, massive responsibility increase. Um, but possibly making pretty decent money as well. Um, but we have, for some of you, you guys could be juggling two different things, a job, a business. Um, I feel like you guys are trying to make a decision though on what's really worth it to you um, and what you're willing to what you're willing to move forward with. Um, there also seems to be like a need for independence. Um, and so, and that's another thing with Uranus in your ninth, squaring your sixth, there could be some rules, regulations, a clash of morals or ethics within your job or within your work, um, certain legal things that come up. We do have contract here. And so you could be kind of weighing out your options um, but I think it's going to be very important for you to stand your ground and stand up for yourself. Um, to other people, it may look like you're being naive or foolish or reckless or careless, um, but you're actually not. <laughs> um, you, I think as long as you're being smart, which normally you are, I think as long as you are, um, as long as you have backup, right? Queen of Pentacles, like you're wanting your own thing, right? Um, so if if some of you guys are really thinking about um, rolling the dice in terms, and I don't even want to say that because it kind of implies like taking, um, you know, an unprepared risk. I think if you're, if it's prepared, then I think that the odds are in your favor here. I really, really do uh, in terms of your job um, or wherever it is that you're getting your money. I think it's something that you really want with the star here. And I think you're really being pushed for, for some of you 
whatever this is, if you're trying to do something independently on the side or you've been thinking about it, this is your sign because literally this is like your true north. You're being pushed to do something that may be a little eccentric, different, out of the box, weird, unconventional, um, but it's actually exactly where you're meant to go, where the energy in the universe is pushing you. We also have the magician, beautiful, um, using your own talents, skills, tools, resources, doing your own thing, nine of cups, wish come true, right? Um, emotional fulfillment. Um, we have the knight of cups, okay? And then we have the four of pentacles. Like I said, if you do your planning, if you're smart about it, um, oh, wow, that was pretty loud thunder. I don't know if you guys heard it. Um, I think that it's going to work out just great. I think you're going to have opportunities um, that you wouldn't have had where you're at. And I think you could actually be a lot happier for it. Just make sure it's something that you have backup, you know, like you're, you're not putting yourself basically in a situation that could, um, that could that has more of a potential to go wrong than it does right you know what i mean like that's basically what i'm saying which normally you guys are pretty good about like having your shit together <laughs> and having things organized uh in some way shape or form so i'm not that worried about it for you guys virgo so that is what i'm getting for you guys virgo hopefully this reading resonates for july 2021 um yeah and i will uh talk to you guys in my other videos uh feel free to follow me on social media my patreon i do extra exclusive content over there if you're interested also you get uh depending on which membership you sign up for you can get personal readings like um obviously not like full on full detail personal readings but like quick uh one question kind of readings um once a month and tons more so go check it out i have all of everything you need to know over there so um anyways i will see you guys in my other videos bye